This video is what sold in my eBay store versus your perceived value of what my item sold for. It's not all of my sales for last month, but it's several of my sales. And all you have to do is listen for this chime, and then I'll reveal what my item sold for, and you can see how well you did on your perceived value. Our first category for this video is vintage to modern figures, vases, home and wall decor. This little vintage 1960s girl figurine in her little aqua dress sold for $26.95 plus shipping. And do note that the shipping that you see here is shipping as if it was shipping to myself. That's just how eBay does it. It's not the actual shipping to the buyer. It always reflects my local zip code. And yes, I do buy and sell vintage home co items. These are little brass butterflies, wall decor. And I typically get these for no more than a dollar. As I said, they sold for $19 plus shipping. When you see even numbers in my sales or very odd numbers, that means it's sold on offer. Either I accepted an offer or I sent an offer. And sometimes I send percentage offers like 10%, 15%, 20% off, etc. And it ends up with an odd number. I remember finding this tall cherub space at an estate sale out in the country. It's 10 and a quarter inches high and I sold it for four asking price of $49.99 plus shipping. I have mentioned before that I like to buy and resell wall sconces. This is a gold and black with a green patina. I pick these up for about $3 on average, sometimes less, and it sold for $28 plus shipping. Harvey Knox is collectible. This is a little Japan ceramic piece featuring a mama and baby pig, and it sold for $17.50 plus shipping. Here are some more wall sconces. This is a lot of two small acanthus leaf designs in gold and aqua. These are pretty small, as I said, six and five eighths inch, just made from resin, and they sold for $25 plus shipping. I picked up four of these prints at a moving sale. They were framed. The frames were in very poor condition, so we removed them from the frame, and the paper they were attached to was in pretty poor condition too. But let me see if I can say this right. Lucien de la Rue Lithograph, uh, 36 Paris. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce the rest of it, but it's a print attached to paper. And I think you'll be surprised what it sold for. Sold for $29.97 plus shipping. And I have three more to go. And I paid $3 for the four of them. This is a small cast iron red bird. I use keywords such as farmhouse and rustic and distressed. And it sold on offer for $15 plus shipping. These vintage 1970s Home Co. kitchen wall plaques were featured in a recent video. They have a number on the back, 7355. What did they sell for? $14.95 plus shipping. I found this five piece set of Jeanette vintage butterfly glass dishes, little candy or nut dishes with gold trim. Found those on our Greenville, Tennessee trip, so they're featured in that video. And I paid $3 for them, and they sold for $20 plus shipping. This same buyer bought a lot of four of the Jeanette Glass Butterfly dishes. These are never in perfect condition. The gold is often rubbed off, but still, she bought both sets, and this set sold for $15 plus shipping. It's time for crafts, Christmas, and collectibles. I do like to pick up cross stitch and needlepoint kits. This is a heritage collection. Franklin Corner has a number of 06008. Designer is Elsa Williams. This one included all of the thread and it was organized as you see here. This was a resaleable package, so we were able to take things out and display them. It sold for full asking price of $29.95 plus shipping. Nice sale. I've had this for a little while, this aluminum embossed planter deer little tin or container. I think I got it for a dollar at a church rummage sale and it sold for $15 plus shipping. Just a day after I told my husband Mark that I was going to stop buying coffee cups to resell, 
I sold a coffee cup and I sold this one, Warner Brothers Christmas Story. You know, the Ralphie, you'll shoot your eye out with, with the BB gun, little coffee cup. It sold for four asking price of $26.95 plus shipping. So how do you stop buying coffee cups when you can sell some of them for that kind of price? Another New American Greetings Taylor Swift Music Christmas Ornament plays Red, the original song Red that she made. And I sold two of them to the same buyer for full asking price of $59.99 each plus shipping. And other than the one that I still have in my personal collection, they have all sold now. All 24 of these ornaments have sold anywhere from $40 to $59.99. And it has taken me two years to sell them and I sure wish I could find them again, but I doubt I will. I found this Raggedy Ann at the Reese store in Johnson City. It's a 1960s Knickerbocker Raggedy Ann doll. It has its original tag, but it has a lot of stains, some issues, so I sold it as is, as you see in the title there. I paid $5 for it, which was quite a bit for me to pay up for something like this, but it did sell for $25 plus shipping and the lady that purchased it said this is exactly what my daughter wants. She wanted one that was older and didn't mind that it had stains at all. Too funny. Let me show you some accessories, clothing, and shoes. These earrings are quite large as you see with the quarter there for comparison. Listed them as aqua blue string art. Use the word boho, thread, teardrop, some of my keywords. I did have free shipping on them and they sold for $16.95 free shipping. I pick up baseball caps when I can get them for a dollar or two. This is a Diet Pepsi baseball cap. It's embroidered with an applique, has some adjustable leather strap in the back, which is kind of unusual. It did sell for full asking price of $24.97 plus shipping. This woman's denim and company size 3X pink zip front cardigan with a hood and long sleeves sold for full asking price of $24.95 plus shipping. This is a vintage listener tassel pendant chain necklace in textured gold. It's about 20 inches long with the extension and it sold for full asking price of $29.95 plus shipping. Boy, do I have jewelry to list. I could list hundreds and hundreds of pieces if I could just get to it. We have so many things coming in this time of year to list. This is a new with tag inspired style size 12 button down shirt blouse, long sleeves, 100% linen. You know, take a look at my titles. You can see again, I put as is in the title, meaning there is a issue with the uh, tab for the roll button sleeve. They never sewed the buttonholes in it. Isn't that too funny? They never cut the buttonholes. So that was the issue, but it did sell for $14.95 plus shipping. This is a new with tag blue sole size XL men's pearl snap. Yes, pearl snap button down shirt in plaid with blue and brown colors sold for $22 plus shipping. Sandals are selling this time of year. These are Jelly Pop women's size seven and a half wedge sandals in white and tan, open toe, adjustable buckle, cork, wrap, all the keywords are in there. Sold for full asking price of $24.97 plus shipping. And I decided to have a category for odds and ends. You know, some unusual things that you don't see every day. Again, I haven't paid more than a dollar to maybe three max for any of the items that I'm showing you here, unless I tell you otherwise. And this is a vintage hand tool decorative butterfly leather cigarette case. It wasn't in perfect condition. And I can tell you that I had several very low offers on it before I finally sold it for full asking price, believe it or not, of $24.95 plus shipping. And I found these new in box Breathe Right Extra Strength Nasal Strips. Very odd thing for me to pick up, but they were new sealed boxes. Found them at a church sale that really had almost virtually nothing at it. But I found them for 50 cents a box. Looked them up on eBay before I bought them, of course, and found out they were selling for good money. So how much do you think I sold these for? Would you believe? Full asking price of $49.95. I did offer free ship, but why not? $49.95 for something so simple. 
Would you have paid attention to something like this when you're outsourcing for items to resell? A very different item for me, for sure. I still have quite a few Boy Scout items to sell. I went to an estate sale and the uh, person had been a scout leader for many years, so I bought a bunch of patches at pretty good prices. I think I have a dollar into this. Sold it for full asking price of $19.98 and I did have free shipping on it. Let's not forget appliances, media, and more. If you watched our Big Stone Gap day trip to Virginia, you might remember the moving sale in that two-story house. Oh, with the scary basement. Remember that video with the scary basement? Anyway, in that house, we found these 1970s Vintage Cost Pro 4AA headphones. We found them upstairs, actually, in the room that said free, other than printers. Everything else is free. So yes, zero dollars invested. How much do you think they sold for? Would you believe? Full asking price of $59.95 plus shipping. Love that. How can you beat it really? Free to $59.95? Yep, we're happy. I like to say if it's free, it's for me. So we're starting to get into appliances this year. We're branching out. This is a Melita Javalia Cafe Black 4 cup coffee maker. Pretty certain we got this at the Goodwill. Paid about $3.95 for it. It was missing the filters and a scoop. I don't think that was a really big deal. And how much do you think it sold for? Again, we paid about $3.99 for it. It sold for full asking price of $29.95 plus shipping. Don't be afraid of selling appliances. You can make some decent profit. Found this at a garage sale for I think a dollar or two. It's new sealed Little Renegades Mindful Kids exercise cards for ages three through seven. And it sold for full asking price of $19.95 plus shipping. This is a vintage 1986 Canon 310XL Super 8 camera with case. The case has heavy wear. We were not able to test this out, but we got it at a garage sale directly from the gentleman who was a avid photographer and we felt confident that it was in working order. And guess what? It was free. He gave it to us just in chatting with him. He's like, here, take this. He just went his stuff gone because he was moving out of state. And how much do you think we sold this free Canon 310XL for? Take a guess. It sold for $128.50. Yes, it did. We put it on auction. There were only two bids, but $128.50 plus shipping. Wow, I hope we keep getting free stuff but then that's probably too good to be true. And my favorite category is kitchen. And I have vintage to modern items to show you. And here we have a two piece lot of Mikasa Spring Sonata. This is a bread plate number DV010 octagonal with flowers and berries. We have picked up some dishes from the Goodwill to resell, mostly at the Goodwill. I never pay more than about, I don't know, maybe four or five dollars for a lot. Can't remember how many I bought in this lot. But we set it up for a lot of two. It sold for, the lot of two sold for, full asking price is $17.95 plus shipping. This is a vintage Ardalt, is the brand, made in Japan, crescent bone dish. Hand painted, had a number on the back, added some keywords of romantic and trinket dish. Sold for, full asking price of $19.95 plus shipping. This platter was made in England. The brand is Marlowe. It's bone china. It's a large sandwich plate with white floral. And you know what? I had advertised this as being in excellent condition. And then when I pulled it to ship it, I saw utensil scratches on it. So I messaged my buyer and gave them an opportunity to cancel. And I apologized for missing the condition and mislisting it really by saying it was excellent. And you know what? They said, that's okay. Send it anyway. So I don't know if it was for a wedding or something for a movie set or putting it on the wall. I don't know, but I think you'll be surprised when I tell you what it sold for. And of course, I don't think I had more than two, three dollars into it. It sold for $29.98 plus shipping. And I got good feedback from it. So it was a win-win. I love it when buyers are understanding, don't you? And you saw these in my last video, this little two-piece cowboy and horse salt and pepper shakers that I got from Kay's sale. 
meaning I have lots of videos coming out about Kay's sale where I bought a bunch of things from her, not only her garage sale, but her, but her family items in her estate sale. Anyway, these cuties, if you don't remember, if you missed my last video, they sold for for asking price of $24.95 plus shipping. These are a fairly recent find from the Goodwill. Paid about $3 for them. Peugeot, France, Tahiti, Duo Spring, Salt and Pepper Grinder Mill, and Yellow and Green. They were six inches tall. They sold for $35 plus shipping. That's why we look everything up. Looking things up while you're shopping can lead you to buying things that you had no idea were worth so much value for reselling. Okay, we've got four piece Federal Depression glass, pink Sharon cabbage rose, little bowls. More and more I'm getting into glass. Okay, these Federal Depression glass little bowls sold for full asking price of $39.99 plus shipping and I probably have $2 in them. This is a McCoy, the real McCoy, vintage glazed pottery pour spout dish. Very unusual. This MCM stands for mid-century modern. It's about six inches. It was not in perfect condition, but it did sell for $17.50 plus shipping. How are you doing on guessing those prices? Are you guessing lower or higher than what they sold for? Leave a comment. Let me know. This is a dotted white gravy boat, meaning it has a dotted pattern. The brand is Modern Farmhouse Turkey Collection. It's a 16 ounce and I added replacement to the title. I paid 50 cents to a dollar for it and sold it for $15 plus shipping. If you watched our Greenville, Tennessee day trip, I picked up a few fancy pans. Yes, that's what it's called. Fancy pan. I think it's a pretty neat name. I keep wanting to say fancy pants though, but it's a vintage fancy pans brown paisley mod for modern kind of 1960s look stock pot with steamer basket it is enamelware it's about seven and three quarters inches high i paid only about three dollars for it and i think you'll be surprised what it sold for it sold for forty dollars plus shipping and i have one more to go in this same pattern do you know about fancy pans leave a comment fancy pans what a name Another coffee cup sale. Good thing I decided not to get rid of my coffee cups. Vintage Fred. Yes, Fred. How many buyers are looking for a blue Ford Mustang coffee cup with the name Fred on it? Probably not too many. That might explain why it took a while to sell, but it did sell for $15 plus shipping. And I don't pay more than about 25 to 50 cents for most of my coffee cups. Unless it's at the Goodwill, they're typically $1.99. This find also came from the Big Stone Gap day trip. Yep, gotta watch that video. Um, okay, this is a vintage wood measuring spoon holder tree stand with four hooks. Mark did clean it up and polish it up, made it look nice. And the measuring cups that came with it were too dented on the handle. So we pitched those and just put the measuring spoons with it. And how much do you think it sold for? How about $20 plus shipping. This little cup was a Goodwill find and I think I paid $1.99. Vintage Japan Tuscany Cup Mug. Who's hiding in my mug? Circus seal. Yes, as you look at the photos here, there's a little seal inside the cup. Too cute. And it sold for $20 plus shipping. This was Mark's find when we were on our Greenville day trip. Keltcraft Nortaki Ireland Pursuit 9170 Dinner Plate featuring fox hunting. It's in mint condition. I know that we paid $5 for it and it sold for full asking price of $29.95 plus shipping. We might have to plan another trip to Greenville, Tennessee. You think? And I saved the best for last. Yes, my rare two-piece lot of Fire King Jadeite splash-proof bowls with red flowers from the 1950s, 60s. If you saw my recent video where I shared the entire story from finding them to selling them to packing and shipping them. Yes, I shared a whole video on this recently. So if you haven't seen it, be sure to subscribe and, and check that video out. Who remembers what they sold for? Anybody remember? My best find ever, my highest eBay sale ever. Hint, hint. What do you think? Is it over $50? You think? They sold for 
$950 plus shipping. Yes, $950 for two bowls that I happened to find from conversing with the person having their garage sale who had these in her basement from her parents' estate. Although I do believe these were added later. I do believe they were Kay's actual bowls and that's why they were still there. But anyway, I paid $15 for these two bowls and yes, they sold for $950. Check out that video. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.